Okay, now, <laughs> excuse me, sorry, something about storage space. <coughs> Forgive me. So, this journey that we're on, there's a smoke screen being played. Remember, I was talking about, in, before we got cut off, about the energies and stuff like that existing in each of us. Like, um, there is a divine feminine and a divine masculine existing in each and every one of us. So like the clouds represent some leveling of confusion existing on this current state of journey that maybe I feel because I see the sun here that is oh and I see light here that is um clearing the way you know what I'm saying like here we go with the journey card like that's a young girl starting on a prince finding journey here okay in this Norwegian tale for those cards. East to the sun, west, oh, to the moon. In this beast of a tale, the young beauty goes off to live, okay, with a polar bear. She misses her family, so the bear allows her to go home with a warning that her mother will try to confuse her, okay? So he says if she lets her mother speak to her one-on-one, -on -one, that their happy life will come to a terrible end. Even with the warning, she succumbs to her mother, as he predicted. She lets the mother words confuse her. So here we have that topped off with some clouds. So there's some confusion with some communication, maybe for the divine feminine energy at this time, being confused by maybe a king of, of, of clubs type energy who comes in with this um, stage storm, you see, because it's, aware look at eyes all on shade you know eventually there is a happy ending in the story but her actions bring bad luck to her and the bear prince who maybe you know has to do all of this because it's the triggering effects that cause the beast from within him to heal you know what i mean something surreal i know this you know, grim fairy tale, which are what these cards kind of make represent. <laughs> but it's a tale of the sadness that can transpire when confusion clouds your mind. You know, the despair, the not knowing the feelings of, you know, what another might possess for you, the game one plays on these journeys, the confusion that is highlighting at this time. So many things can go wrong when someone intentionally makes a smoke screen unnecessarily you know where the clouds show up gloomy thoughts shroud the situation because that's where maybe the king is at his current playstation so that's what he sends out you see although she's on this journey to see her mother or maybe the influence of one's mother comes into play as the back screen here between the divine masculine and divine feminine at this time. Moving on over to here. I'm not calling it a pick card reading it. Oh, the angel of love on, on full display coming in to put to death maybe the clouds that are being put out here to clear the way for the divine feminine energy to be able to to go and 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 travel because this card right here is about travel okay so the divine feminine energy is on a journey right now upcoming travel be prepared pack your bags there's a shift in location there's a shift in everything that is happening to you right now mind body heart and soul it may be as simple as a vacation as of right now, a retreat, a class, or even a work-related trip. It doesn't matter what it is. Pack your bags. This is it. There is a trip on the forefront here. The angel of love, too, confirming, my dears, that something for you is being catered to at this time. Something that's needed. What can possibly be needed? from an angel of love, like tender connections, putting to death the clouds that one might create in their own saddened state, putting to death and illuminating 
with like sheer bright light. Here we go, the angel of love. This beautiful angel comes with roses in her hair and rose colored wings. She holds a rose quartz in her heart, radiating tender and loving vibrations, bringing you compassion and affection. If you're looking for new love, this angel brings a message of its upcoming approach. See the light. See the light. Put to death. See the light. Shining bright. Here we go. So you know. If you're looking for new love, this angel brings a message of love of its upcoming approach. Or if you're longing for a deeper, more intimate connection with someone already in your life, she's here to say that far greater tenderness is available to you. Either way, remember that your first intention for tenderness must be directed inward, okay? As within exudes or not, and the compassion that you demonstrate towards yourself will influence the energetic potential of these events in a significant way. The angel of love is smiling on you and forging connections in the most energetic way that she possibly can in this energetic realm of, you know, maybe certain things are um, resisted. But here we have the coffin, the ending, putting the ending, an ending, a death, a transformation to the sad, which the clouds represent in the creation, a saddened state to create the clouds because the sun is shining through. So we're putting to death and we're putting that into the snowman here. I mean, to, into the snowman. <laughs> into the coffin. This here tale from Snow White, the brother's grim version, we see her coffin draped for mourning. The coffin card is about death, okay? When you see this card, remember that Snow White's youthful life with the dwarf stopped here. Her new adult life would begin when she is awakened by her prince. There was a great deal of sadness when her seven companions found Snow White dead. They placed her in a glass coffin so that they could mourn her while still seeing her beautiful face. Maybe certain things have to be put to death that are surrounding you on the outside. This could apply to the divine feminine, divine masculine too. Certain things that just no longer service you. Seven other things. This reminds me of like seven of cups. Having options. Every single kind of way. The prince cloaked, draped, cloaked in his drape the coffin because... <laughs> The prince's cloak, okay, drapes the coffin because his love alone can revive Snow White. Okay, that's the tale. Okay, here. But I feel like the energy for that prince is over here. See the wind or the light shining bright. The journey that they're on. The angels love putting to death something and making it more clear. Love is here. I think something's coming to an end. This can be an actual death, but it's not. But it's also metaphoric. Suggesting the idea of letting things go. What changes need to happen in your life at this moment in time as you embark on your journey? What clouds need to be made to by the leveling of authentic truth that needs to exude from your being by you acknowledging and affirming to yourself what it is that you're seeing so that the angel of love that is already here surrounding and cloaking this this is divine intervention at its back like look for where you can buy you can find the where you can best of like where you can bring to life whatever it is that is being born within you through the death of what needs to be changed allowing the light to shine the way I guess I go here letting the light shine the way ah, awakening to a new day the sun shines bright Cornucopia, here we are, shining bright. Oh my goodness, okay. Awakening to, to this love. I'm gonna cut this one short 
and continue into number video number three if you know what i mean thank you for tuning in and stay tuned and keep following me and like comment share and subscribe and here we go i'm gonna go into video number three at this time